Hello once again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris and in today's video I'm going to show you how to support the third two plugins on 64-bit plugins DAW or Digital Audio Workstation. It is possible that you have upgraded your digital audio workstations and you can see that there are plugins that you were previously using and are no longer supported. So that is the purpose of this video. And a quick disclaimer, all the products that we are going to use in this video are from their manufacturers and I will leave the links on where you can get them. I don't own or sell any product that I'm going to use in this video. And without further ado, let's start doing the installation and I will show you how to support those plugins. First of all, we are going to take an example of a plugin. In this case, let me take one plugin here. I will try to install it in normal condition and I will see what my DAW will tell me. In this example, I'm going to use the plugin that is called Purity. I will go ahead and install, even though I will try to install it in the specific folder for my DAW VST folder, it will give me warning that the 32 bit plugins are not supported. And that's where we will come into play and try to fix the issue. So, uh, I want you to follow along because it can take like a minutes but it's worth it because i know this issue uh, is very frustrating that's why i do this video to help you out guys so i'm going to perform the normal installation i will allocate the folder and i will try to target my vst plugins uh, according to to my dw that i'm using in this case i'm using standby cubes and i will target this one and uh, okay and after targeting this I will, I will come and close here and then I will try to uh, after closing I will try to press next again and then next and then to restart the installation and after the installation is done we will go ahead and click on finish and then I will close my DAW to, to make the change that I have previously made I will restart again and this works for NDAW in this case I told you that I'm using Cubase and as you can see it is scanning but it didn't see our plugin when we try to create a new project and then we try to allocate our plugin you can see it doesn't appear here so there is another specific program that we are going to install that is called GBrager and I will, link, I will leave a link in the description here it is, I'm going to install it. This is the one that, you, that will help us to learn those plugins that are seeming to be unsupported. So I will go ahead and double click on this one. I will open and I will try to install, accept. And then the installation is like, is next, next, no big deal. Okay, I will agree and then press install. And as you can see, it has successfully completed to install. And in this case, I will take this one and then click on finish. And um, I will try to access my GBridge by going on the start menu. I can see my GBridge is here. And in this case, I will uh, run it in the administrator mode. So I will run it as an administrator like this one. After running it as administrator, I will be prompted to choose between the 64-bit host of a 2-bit host. So this is this will be the first interaction while you're using this tool. Let's say that you are using a DAW that supports only 64 bits. So in that case, you will choose that you are using 64 bits and you will try to change the plugins from 32 bits to 64 bits. And if you are using the host that supports like 32 bits and you have plugin for 64 bits, you will choose that you are using 32 bits host and then you will try to, um, to change, to change, to change um, the, those plugins from 64 to 32. So in this case, we are using a DAW that supports 64 bits. That's why we will choose this one. 
after we choose that we will be prompted to read or this one if you have time you have to read but uh, as I have previously read this one I will go ahead and uh, call to action I will choose where it is, it is written create bridging files inside a directory I will specify so in this case it will go in the directory where I installed my plugin and it will try to, to pull the one file that is specific and we copy it in the destination folder that we will specify. So let's go ahead. Uh, I will click on here and it will prompt me to navigate the file system where I installed my plugin. And in that case, I installed my plugin here on DC, uh, C, and I choose program files, uh, this, A32. Uh, and I will go with it's written Rock Sonics. And you can see all the files are here, but we target the, the DRL file. The DRL file or the dynamic rec library file is this one that is called the purity. And after we take this one, it will try to change that DRL into the 64 bits so as to be supported by the DAW. I will go ahead and press OK. And this, uh, they, 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 they are asking us to choose the destination files for bridging files so in this case we are going to target the vst folder for the daw so in this case it is in my local disk c it is in my program files it is in the steinberg and steinberg and then vst plugins like this one and after i choose that one you will go ahead and press ok and it will try to analyze file and you can see now it has been successfully done our work and after all of this we'll go ahead and uh, restart our DAW to see all the changes so in that case we will double click on this DAW and we see if it will load here and the tray and we try to empty project and we try to add an instrument track and as you can see our purity is now here on this list so in this case we can use our purity uh, here it is now uh, giving us error that it, it, it hadn't be able to save these uh, program files uh, make sure you have the right permission you can change that later but the program is ready to go now you can try to play anything here and you can see the program is successfully installed uh, even though it wasn't supported you can perform uh, all of these by um, by by all the AWS or any plugin it will be uh, it will be functioning by using this method so guys this marked the end of my video I hope guys you find this interesting and if so don't hesitate smash the like button and if you coming on the channel for the first time and you find it it interesting press the subscribe button and Turn on the bell icon so as to never miss the upcoming videos and stay in touch. Peace.